Private newspapers cut, but CBC continues to hire. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. There's no denying it. There is a media sea change going on in this country. The Rebel.media is part of that. But in the legacy media, well, things are a little different. Post Media announced 90 newspaper jobs, editorial jobs, will be cut across the country. Newsrooms in Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, and Ottawa, where the city owns two papers in each town, they're going to be merged. They will put out two distinct newspapers, they say, with one editorial team. I'm not sure how that's going to work. That's not my job to figure out. But I'll say this. While Post Media is cutting 90 jobs, CBC is hiring 47 right now. Found that out from a tweet by Scott Gilmore. Scott Gilmore, husband of Canada's Environment Minister, Liberal Cabinet Minister Catherine McKenna, a sometimes columnist for Maclean's Magazine. He's pointing out something that most on the progressive side of the aisle will not deal with, and that is that CBC is eating the lunch of Canada's major daily newspapers. If you think that this is the end of the job cutting, the end of the bloodletting, well, then you're fooling yourself. CBC is not the only reason, but it is a major contributing factor to de the demise of Canada's newspapers across the country. And yet, the reaction from some quarters is entirely predictable. The largest and only all-media union in the country the Communication Workers of America, Canadian division, well, they put out a news release. It says, Feds must take action on post-media monopoly. Media union. CWA Canada, the country's only all-media union, is calling on the federal government to take action before it's too late to prevent post-media from destroying the country's major daily newspapers. CWA Canada President Martin O'Hanlon called this a dark day for journalism. But O'Hanlon and the rest of the people at the Communication Workers of America, Canada branch, they refuse to deal with the fact that CBC is a major contributing factor to the demise of newspapers. It continues to be a threat to newspapers across the country and will put more of them out of business over the coming years. How can I say that? Well, look, subscriptions have not dropped off quite as dramatically as advertisers' revenue has. That's right, advertisers started fleeing newspapers Back around the time of the recession, it's never recovered. It's much the same for local television stations. But for newspapers, this is particularly acute. They have had a hard time figuring out what to do. And their online revenue hasn't kept pace. They haven't been able to figure out how to turn that online traffic into online revenue, charging advertisers appropriately for the cost of their content. Now, some would say they should just put up a paywall. They should charge people for access to their content. But here is the rub. CBC. That's right. The state broadcaster already gets $1 billion a year from taxpayers. No Canadian would be willing to give CBC an extra $5 a month or $6 a month or $10 a month to access their content. They expect to get it for free. So CBC will perpetually be free. They have been building one of the largest newsrooms in Canada. In fact, one CBC reporter called them, called their website, the most read daily newspaper in Canada. That's how they talk about their website inside. They have been hiring people that don't do a thing for radio or television, the very jobs that Parliament has them mandated for. CBC exists because an act of an act of Parliament. CBC exists because of the Broadcasting Act and there's no mention of them running an online print service. There's no mention of them running Canada's largest, most read daily newspaper. But that's what they've become. The CWA won't talk about that. Thankfully, some, like Scott Gilmore, are willing to, to mention it. They don't want to get too deeply into it, but they, they'll mention it. CBC should stick to its mandate. If they don't, if they are allowed to continue to hire Again, currently 47 jobs advertised at CBC while Post Media cuts. If they're allowed to use their billion dollar subsidy to keep hiring while the private media is retrenching, if they are allowed to continue to build their online presence, which has nothing to do with radio or television, then they will put more local daily newspapers out of print across the country. They will go out of business and you will not have the local journalism that so many people rely on. It's up to the executives in the private sector media. It's up to the unions that represent the workers at those organizations to step forward. And it's up to members of parliament to call upon the government to force CBC to act within their mandate. Otherwise, we will have one giant news, or news organization and it will be government owned. Is that healthy for any democracy? I'd say definitely not.